What is the difference between these two apps? And guess which one cost $85,000? Okay, imagine you have a trading card collection. So each card in that collection is absolutely unique and has different characteristics. For example, you might have one card featuring a famous athlete, another one with a rare design, and another one with a limited edition autograph. Now let's apply this concept to the digital world. Non-fungible tokens, aka NFTs, are like digital trading cards, but instead of physical cards, they exist as unique digital assets on a blockchain. So each NFT represents something distinct, just like your trading cards. NFTs can be used to represent various digital items such as art, music, videos, virtual real estate, and even virtual pets. So what makes NFTs special is that each one has its own unique information stored on the blockchain, also verifying its authenticity, ownership, and individual characteristics. For instance, if an artist creates a digital artwork as an NFT, they can assign it a unique token. This token serves as proof of ownership, ensuring that no one else in the world can claim to own the original artwork. Even if copies of this artwork exist, for example, the original piece and its value are tied to that specific NFT. NFTs have gained popularity because they provide a way for digital creators to sell and authenticate their work, just like artists would do with physical art. Additionally, buyers of NFTs can own and trade these digital assets knowing that they possess something rare, unique in that digital realm. However, it's important to note that NFTs don't necessarily give you an exclusive right to the underlying content. For example, if you buy an NFT representing like famous meme, for example, you own the original token, yes, but the meme itself can still be seen and shared by others on the internet. Until recently, NFTs were not divisible, which means you can only buy the whole token piece. But with time, fractionalized NFTs appeared, which involve dividing NFTs into like smaller shares. So it's like not having enough money to buy Mona Lisa, but uniting with other people to afford it. At the heart of NFTs is a technology called a blockchain. So think of it blockchain as a special kind of digital ledger that keeps a record of transactions securely and transparently. So it's like a big database that multiply computers around the world and it's maintained and updated together. Now, let's imagine you want to create an NFT. For instance, you are an artist and have a piece of digital artwork and you want to turn it into an NFT and sell it to someone. So here's what you're gonna do. First, choose a blockchain. You must decide which blockchain platform to use for creating and selling your NFT. For example, it might be Ethereum, BNB Chain, Solana, and others. Next, minting the NFT. So you mint the NFT by creating a unique digital token on the chosen blockchain. This token represents your artwork. It contains the information about the artwork's creator, description, and other details you want to include. Next step, smart contracts. When minting the NFT, you usually use smart contracts, which are like self-executing contracts with predefined rules. Smart contracts help automate the process of creating, selling, and transferring ownership of NFTs. Basically, they ensure that the transactions are secure and ownership details are properly recorded on the blockchain. Proof of ownership. Once the NFT is minted, it gets a unique identification number, like a serial number, that distinguishes it from other NFTs. This identification number is stored on the blockchain, providing a record of your ownership. Buying and selling. Now you can put your NFT up for sale on an NFT marketplace, where potential buyers can browse and finally purchase it. So the transaction occurs on the blockchain and the ownership of the NFT is transferred from you to a buyer. Ownership verification. 
After this transaction, anyone can look up the blockchain and verify that the buyer now owns the NFT. So the blockchain acts as a public record, showing the history of ownership for that specific NFT. Interacting with the NFT As the owner of an NFT, you can display it in a digital galleries or use it in virtual worlds or just simply enjoy knowing that you own a unique digital item. However, it's still important to note that while the NFT itself holds value, the content it represents might still be accessible to others. So in most cases, owning an NFT doesn't grant you exclusive rights to the underlying content. Now, let's take a look at a couple of examples of NFTs to understand them better. One of the most famous examples is CryptoKitties, which are simply collectible digital kittens. So, each CryptoKitty is unique, and if you trade one with someone else, for example, you receive a completely different CryptoKitty in return. Another one worth noting is the digital collage created by artists called Beeple. In March 2021, Beeple sold his artwork for a whopping $69 million, making him one of the most expensive living artists. CryptoPunks is one of the earliest and most popular NFT projects. It was created by Larva Labs and featured 10,000 unique pixel art images of punks with different attributes like gender, headgear, and eyewear. And can you imagine, originally it was given away for free. And now, CryptoPunks sell for a significant amount of money. For example, the floor price for a punk is currently 50 ETH, so it's around $90,000, while rare ones like aliens, apes, and zombies sell for millions of dollars. CryptoPunks are mainly used to demonstrate membership in an exclusive community. For example, owners often use them as avatars on social media. And by the way, they have even caught the attention of Visa, which acquired one of them as part of its collection. Similar to CryptoPunks, Board Ape Yacht Club offers a series of NFT avatars in the form of apes. There are also 10,000 of them, each with randomly generated attributes and a vibrant community surrounding them. One of the main benefits of owning and board API Club NFT is eligibility for additional NFT drops, such as the Board Ape Kennel Club featuring dog NFTs or Mutant API Club featuring mutant apes. So it's like having a ticket to an exclusive club with special perks for members. And yeah, celebrities like Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and Stephen Curry have shown interest in this particular collection. And Yuga Labs, the creator of Board API Club, plans to expand its brand into films, TV, and other forms of entertainment. Okay, so what makes NFTs so special? NFTs are not just for digital collectibles like CryptoKitties, NBA Top Shot, SoRare, or even CryptoPunks. They can also represent digital assets that must be unique to prove their value or scarcity. NFTs can be used to represent virtual LAM, artworks, game skins, songs, pictures, and even ownership of physical assets. NFTs are basically bought and sold on marketplaces. Popular ones include OpenSea, Rarible, and the NFT marketplaces, launched by leading cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance and Coinbase. Different marketplaces cater to different types of NFTs. Some focus on in-game items, while others specialize in digital artwork. Platforms like OpenSea host a variety of NFTs. So how to find good NFTs? When it comes to identifying good NFT projects, it's important to consider several factors. So here are some key aspects to look out for. First, it's obviously concept and creativity. So does it bring something innovative or interesting to the table? Next, team and reputation. So is the team experienced in that field? And have they worked on successful projects before? Next, community engagement. Are there active discussions on social media platforms? And is there a supportive and enthusiastic community projects 
around them. Rarity and scarcity. Limited editions or unique attributes can increase the desirability and value of the NFTs. Next, utility and use case. So are there any utility or use case beyond just being a collectible? Some NFTs, for example, provide access to exclusive content or virtual experiences or just in-game benefits. Marketplace and demand. Is there an active marketplace where NFTs are being bought and sold? and other reputable platforms hosting the project. Next, longevity and roadmap. Does the team have a clear vision for its future? Are there any plans for ongoing development and improvement? Just remember, investing in NFTs always carries some risks, and the NFT market can be quite volatile. So that's why it's essential to do thorough research, diversify your investments, and only invest what you can afford to lose. So where to find NFT projects? If you're looking for an exciting new NFT project, there are a few places you can explore. First, trending projects. First, check out the top projects on popular NFT marketplaces, like OpenSea. They often showcase the projects with the highest sales volume in the past 24 hours or week. You can also visit CryptoSlam, an NFT aggregator website to discover and evaluate a wide range of NFT projects. NFT influencers. Just follow experts and influential figures in the NFT space on platforms like crypto Twitter. They can provide insights, recommendations, and discussions about upcoming projects. Some notable NFT influencers include Archic, Elliot, Alexis, Ohanian, Punk6529, Kevin Rose, and even celebrities like Snoop Dogg. So, by keeping an eye on trending projects and engaging with NFT influencers, you can increase your chances of finding exciting new NFT projects that have some potential to grow and be successful. Okay, so let's imagine you finally found a promising project. You can buy NFTs on various NFT marketplaces like OpenSea, Rarible, and SuperRare. So here is a step-by-step -step guide using Rarible as an example. Step number one, go to the Rarible website and click the connect button at the top right. Choose the wallet you want to connect with, like Metamask for example, and finally accept the terms of service to enter the platform. Step number two, once logged in, search for the specific NFT you want to buy. For example, let's say you want to purchase Hand of Fate by Django. Step 3. When you find the NFT you want, click the Buy Now button. Step number 4. A confirmation window will appear, asking you to review the order details. If everything looks good, click Proceed to Payment. Step number 5. Your wallet will open and you'll be asked to confirm the transaction. If you agree with the conditions, confirm the transaction. So once confirmed, the NFT will be deposited into your Ethereum address. So finally, you are a proud owner of a unique NFT. Okay, so NFTs offer vast opportunities beyond gaming and collecting. They enable the tokenization of both digital and real-world assets, including property. So NFTs could find applications in certification, software licensing, warranties, and even birth and death certificates. Our digital wallets might one day hold proof of every certificate, license, and asset we ever own in our life. And now you already understand what differs apes from the beginning, right? Of course you do.